Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Actually a lot to talk about today in the weather vlog. We've got the heat wave building our way the next couple of days. We've got drought conditions expanding and the tropics are heating up. So let's dive into all three of those. First, we'll start with the current conditions because we're gonna see the heat build back. Yesterday was great. It was even a hot day by the average standards here in August, but the dew points were so low, it felt amazing. So the heat is beginning to build once again today to our west, that heat, over the middle of the country is going to be slowly easing our way. But the one caveat in this is there are storms over the Ohio Valley, which are going to ride the ridge. We call that the ridge fire. You probably have heard me say that before. Um, that's what we're referring to. But let me show you the temperatures real quickly just to show you where this heat is. It's not too hard to figure out where it is to our west. Those are the current dew points, um, but these are the current temperatures. So there's the heat dome back to the west, and it's going to be shifting our way. Now, speaking of dew points, yesterday dew points were in the 40s and 50s. Dew points today have recovered back into the 60s. That's why things are starting to heat up pretty quickly out there. But the heat is going to be the story in the short term, though we do have to keep a close eye on those storms to the north. And the reason I say that is, let me show you the severe weather outlook today. I'm going to turn off the satellite imagery. You see it just to our north, that severe weather outlook. But look at tomorrow. There is a low risk coming down here, which means some of these storms might try to sneak down here. We'll go into the weekend and those kind of disappear. So certainly something that bears watching um, for some storms that could develop. We actually could use them. And I'll talk about the drought here first because that's the reason we need some rain. <laughs> we love some rain to cool us off, but also today's drought monitor shows a big chunk of North and South Carolina now under uh, abnormally to moderate drought conditions. And if you have a lawn or garden like I do, I mean, the lawn is browned out. I'm, I'm losing leaves off trees now because of heat stress and drought. So I'm trying to overwater those as well. Try to get us to next week because there is a pretty significant pattern change coming. And that pattern change is going to be cooler but it also might be driven by tropical activity if you look down to the south of us these systems here no worries these are all going to stay away from us this is the one we have to watch that's going to develop maybe in the next couple of days and move up towards the southeast that has the potential to bring us some much needed moisture and break this heat wave as well on top of the the change in the and the cold front moving down so the combination of a cold front and the possibility we're going to have that tropical entity is pretty good news for us here in the southeast. So let's go back to the radar and satellite here because I want to kind of show you how this is going to develop over the next couple of days. All right, so let's start with the setup here. We're going to go through time and kind of show you um, how this is going to evolve. And eventually we're going to see moisture from down here, which is right there. You can actually see it on some of the guidance here uh, beginning to show that. Let me see if I can load this up again. You could see some of that data beginning to pop in there, but you can see it here is here is Franklin. So Franklin, obviously not a big issue, but this is what we're going to watch. So here we are in Charlotte. So there's our two systems. Um, we'll kind of play this a little bit. You see the front coming in again. Whew, good news. Cold front coming in late this weekend. There's Franklin off the East Coast. OK, the front is right in here. So Franklin shows up. But look at this mess developing down here. So we'll go into the weekend. So what you don't see here and it's kind of hard to tell, there's a cold front here. That's going to keep Franklin out here, but something developing down here that gets picked up by the front and maybe helps enhance the rainfall along this front. So we'll go through time here and we'll go into next week and you'll see some more of that moisture coming up as we go into next week. So that, that's what we're watching. Now, a lot of the guidance is kind of split. I'll go back to some of the guidance here, the European guidance showing, um, and I'll show you the probability of tropical storm formation here. So obviously Franklin's out there. You got a couple other systems, but see this in the Gulf of Mexico? Look how that gets surged up and then moves maybe off in the southeast. So that's the area we're going to watch going into next week for potentially um, some much needed rainfall, but also some tropical moisture moving in. Now, as far as the temperatures are concerned, let's go back to those because today we'll be in the mid 90s. Tomorrow, upper 90s to near 100. One of the thing about tomorrow's setup, just FYI, down sloping coming off the mountains and with the dry air and drought conditions, you know, the ground's pretty dry we might see these temperatures much higher. I'll tell you a lot of the guidance is up around 100 to 102. I'm gonna go 100 tomorrow, which would make it probably one of the hottest home games, preseason, regular season in, in Panthers history. Um, and then Saturday, not much better, still mid to upper 90s, but notice by Sunday, we're only around 90, and Monday, Tuesday for the start of school, much cooler air moves in. So there is cooler air on the way, we gotta get through the weekend, and then we'll keep an eye on this tropical entity to our south and you can see that big sprawling high boy no matter what next week is going to be cooler and wetter but we got to get through the heat wave first 
and then get some rain in here to help out with the drought conditions. Have a great day. I will post updates. Stay tuned to updates through the weekend and make sure you stay weather aware for Friday and Saturday for this potential high heat, hottest weather of the season so far.